freeze. Don't take another step. I'm gonna let you do to me what you do to others. What? How? I would never. I won't let you do to me what you did to my poor Lucy. You people leaders. It all started when the world's climate as we know it began to change violently at the hands of man. And with the water shortage, crops started to deteriorate. Animals were the first living things to suffer. Later, all humanity. The world as we know it has been lost forever. When food became scarce, everything collapsed. Chaos took over. A fierce struggle for survival began. The authorities evacuated the young to makeshift camps outside the cities. Entire families were separated, and parents were devastated at having to abandon their children. They were never to be heard from again. Meanwhile, in the cities, people fought for the slightest hint of food. Order was lost, to be replaced by survival of the fittest. And finally, out of despair, it happened. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those games. Welcome to Lambs on the Road, and as you can see, we're already inside the game because, hey, you know what, that introduction did an amazing job explaining to you exactly what this game is about, so now it's just time for us to dive in here and play it and try to locate our daughter. Now, what I'm intrigued about is that, obviously, the, the kids got separated because of all the chaos in the area that the people were in, but once we locate our daughter, what happens then, considering, you know, lack of food, danger all over the place? What's the goal afterwards is what I'm kind of curious about. Now, one of the things that I read about this game when I was, um, you know, looking into it, covered, it's actually inspired by... Well, I, I guess we're not going back down that side again, are we? This is the only window that is not blocked. The glass is too thick. I need something to be able to force it in, or to force it and get in. Now, we got no tools just yet, so I guess for now we shall continue going up. Hopefully find something. So, it's inspired by the road, so if you've seen the movie, or read the book, even better, you kind of know what to expect. This is going to be definitely quite a bit of a dark one, although we kind of already know that considering, you know, cannibalism's involved. What's down that balcony there in the or what's down there in the balcony? <laughs> what's that balcony doing in that balcony down there? So we have our hammer, obviously. So we could slip on down. A little bit jank on the little slip on down, but that's okay. We'll manage. So now we obviously have found a way for us to break that. We could also run. I believe there's also a stealth thing, obviously, because more than likely it's gonna be one of those games where I'm not sure if they're gonna equip us. Although we do have three hearts, so maybe they will. But stealth's gonna be our best friend here. As we step on in. Another poor devil who couldn't take it anymore. God knows what his eyes have seen to say goodbye to this world in this way. Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 67 days apparently. Or he couldn't take it anymore. Shotgun glass to or at least shotgun blast to the dome piece. I mean, I'm not sure why we're not taking that ourselves. I mean. I'm just saying, a little bit of safety here with a bunch of cannibals running around would be kind of ideal. Um, I think we should be able to jump this, right? Yes. No food, no medicines. Okay. We have some sort of wire cutter thing here. Uh, we could probably go down, but let's see about jumping across first. Nothing here, huh? Okay. 
kind of hesitant because I like to see, I like to be able to see where I'm going down before it does, but it doesn't do it into your, you know, in hang mode. This just puts us, I guess, outside. Okay, try. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. don't like that. That's the reason why I like to be able to see down before I do that. So, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I think we could probably make this jump over here, right? And hopefully, just finagle down through here. <gasps> oh, oh, you absolute! You saw how close that was. Now, I'm gonna have to get used to this really quickly, too, because, you know, once we have the humans involved, too, chasing us and whatever, what is... I hear noises in the background? Oh. Actually coming up ahead of us. So, we might have some, um, evildoers there. Well, luckily, four of us, there is a vehicle right above them, so at least we believe we're supposed to drop it on them and kill them. Do it. Bruh. There's absolutely not one shred of remorse in me. These guys had evil intentions from the start anyway. Okay, apparently coming through here. But, um, oh, I see all the options I got. I wanted to see what was outside. Okay. Stairs up above. This generator is still running and it has some gas in it. If I turned it on with the... With just the noise it would make, it would attract half the city. So we can turn it on, but um, probably not now, is what I have to imagine. Otherwise, he wouldn't say that. So you know what? Let's just keep it in mind for later. We might have to use it as a distraction method or something. Freeze. Oh, good. Freeze. Don't take another step. I'm gonna let you do to me what you do to others. What? How? What are you, what are you talking about? Hey, calm down. I don't want to hurt you. You think you can fool me? I've seen what your people do to the others. My god, what are we turning into? What are you? No, I... I would never... I won't let you do to me what you did to my poor Lucy. You people leaders. Please listen. It's not- I'm not like them. You have to believe me. I'm going in search of my daughter, that's all. Let me go back where I came from. Do you have a daughter? I hope you can protect it better than I was able to protect my Lucy. Well, he sees- Oh, no! There's something- oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, I mean, the first part is grim enough. This guy is over here apparently eating an arm. But you see what's on the table? He's literally using a human head as a bowl. Oh, I just noticed a leg over there, too. Oh, jeez. Right below where this guy was at. Yeah, maybe shooting himself was apparently part of the plan, considering what lies above him. Alright, so I guess we gotta go through here for sure. This forklift is not out of order. It just has no power supply. I have to make it work. Hmm. So our generator down there? Okay, let's go for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, keep running, keep running. We gotta hit this and hopefully it goes up immediately. Immediately, please. All right. Now, I'm not sure if we're completely in the clear. Remember what lies above here in this apartment. Trying to keep an ear on. See if this guy starts running or screaming. Or if the music gets all crazy. No, I guess we're fine. Oh! I heard him scream. Oh. Okay. Man, you gotta be quick with these things, huh? What do I got here? Illuminati, of course. TV. That's it? I mean, how do I... How do I proceed? Uh... Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's... You have a proct here, too. Oh! Wow. Wow. 
Yeah, I see it now. It's basically a window because you see the light over there. Let me tell you. Easily missed it. If not for that proc, I probably wouldn't have ever uh, guessed it. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Don't think we're going to be going that way anytime soon. So we're going right. Problem is, if I die, it feels like it's going to dump me back into that safe spot all the way back there. Let's make sure we got this right, huh? Jump. All right. Whatever you do, don't crumble under my feet afterwards. Okay. We got homeboy with a gun up there. Probably more dangerous than a guy coming after you with a butcher knife, I would say. You can still hear him hammering away on that shelf. Anything in here? Oh! Ah! oh. I can't let them hunt me down. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. They have freaking bear traps, too. I, I, the moment I stepped on it is when I noticed it, like, right before it snapped, and I was like, oh, there's something there. Jeez. Okay. Well, that only took one of them. Our little health things away. So, I guess they're there for a reason. Normally, when they catch you, apparently, they just instantly kill you. Alright, so there's our ladder. Before we go up there, just peek in here. Now, obviously, let's also keep an eye out for bear traps, huh? So I'm going to do a little bit of diary reading here, see what's going on in this world. Beyond what we already can see. Okay, so hold up, hold up. We know there's a guy over there with a gun, so for this one, I think we got to sneak for sure. Now, once we get to him, I suppose the only alternative we have is to just push this man off the roof. Luckily for us, I'm not sure what he's doing over here on top of a roof, just staring out into nothing. But I'm pushing at us. Are you telling him to watch out, or are you telling myself? Watch out. This guy is armed. Yeah, I, I see that. He doesn't seem to have heard of me yet. I must be very stealthy. What's what I was trying to do? Push him. Give me the chance to push this man. Ah! Hey man, you know what? It's either them or us. Okay. You gotta be, get really close. Like, I was getting worried there. I was like, where, where's my proc for this push, man? I'm about to touch this man right now. Um, okay. Let's make sure we got our jump correct here. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> you got some strong ankles, boy. Now, what I all I would like at this point is another little, um... Let's call them bonfires here, because why not? Another little bonfire so I don't have to repeat this entire thing. Ooh, that I just went through right now. You better... <gasps> Oh, please don't. Be. I mean, it's just a dog. I mean, they're hungry too, but I don't think the dog's gonna suddenly turn cannibal and try to kill us too. Wow. Easy, buddy. There's no need to get nervous, don't you think? Oh. Please don't go and alert people. Go underground through here. I just really want a place to save. Before I go down there, I'm gonna jump across just to make sure... Look, we can't go through. Now, uh, I know you can be janky sometimes. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a proc. Oh, we got our save. Perfect. I must look for a way out as soon as possible. This place doesn't look good to me. Alright. Well, at least we made it this far, so... If we perish, at least we don't have to do all that stuff over there. And I'm curious, is this gonna kill me? Better know that one later. No? We can jump across to there. Good. Let's see what's on our right hand side first, though. I can't swim in these putrid waters. I'd never make it to the other side. Well, that answers that. So I guess we're gonna just jump across first before we try to jump down there and see what happens. Hmm. Well, I mean, at some point we start running into, like, you know, big giant green turtles. I might have an idea where they might have come from. Okay, so we can go up through there for sure, but before we do that, let's just make sure there's no other... Yes, there's gonna be an entrance here, too. A different one. Okay. 
I mean, I'm not sure if <laughs> which one to take first. The other one seems to be going up, so I'd rather go not up first. Dead dude? Ugh, what a smell. He must have been dead for quite some time. What's that he's holding in his hand? Be nice for a weapon. It's a key. Is that a door? Yep, so without our key, we didn't have any way through here. So, I mean, technically, it wouldn't have been like such a big backtrack had I just continued because I would have run to the door and been like, oh, okay, we gotta go back. This looks like the sewer control panel. If only I could figure out how to open the sluice gates. I mean, just hit the lever. <laughs> That's what I would do. That's a big giant lever here. Eh, push it down, see what happens. That over there seemed like too big of a drop for my liking. Trust you, I'm gonna run across you instead. Oh. I'm glad we're not running into humans here at least. It seems to just be like purely puzzle platforming at this point. And some jank getting up those ledges, obviously. Turn to the left. It's gonna probably bring that down, I would imagine. So far, so good. I'm seeing light. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. I finally made it out of that filthy city. Although there is still a long way before we can be together once more. You would never imagine how much everything has changed and what we have become. The world as we knew it no longer exists. Our lives, our friends, everything is gone. Since you left, I keep wondering how you are, if you are alone. Where have these people taken you? Away from me and for what? What do they intend to do with you? Wherever you are, whoever you are with, you have to be strong to resist. Because no matter where you are or what they have done to you, I know that in the end we will be together again, Mary. Your father is on his way. Oh, really? So it's just a prologue. Oh, man. I was actually starting to get really into it, too. It's it's fairly jank. I ain't gonna lie to you. It is a little bit janky for sure, but, um... At least the world itself, where it's going, I, I really dig the dark atmosphere about it, but, um... I was expecting more, I just didn't think it was a prologue. I mean, when I redeemed the key, it was called Lambs in the Road at the beginning. But then in the title, it just says Lambs in the Road, so I was just like, well, which one is which? So, yeah, I guess I'm not too surprised. Well, there you guys have it. A short one. I was hoping it'd be a longer one, but it's just a short one this time around. I'll keep my eyes on it, though, and when the actual full thing is out, we'll definitely return to it and check it out, because um, I'm already definitely intrigued. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.